All right, so I'm going to do index laws equating bases, this time with a much, much more complicated question. Uh, we've got 3 to the power of 4n times 8 to the n plus, two, plus 1 over 6 to the power of 3n minus 2. Now, the thing that really makes this question difficult is 3, 18, and 6. They're not all powers of 3. So in the past, when we've done these questions, we'd end up with 3, 9, 27, 81. But 3, 9, 27, 81, they're not there. So we need to do things a little bit differently. Uh, first step, I'm going to take the 18, and I'm going to take the 6, and I'm going to find their prime factors. That is factors of 18 that are prime numbers. So 3 to the power of 4n times 18 in prime factors would be 3 times 3 times 2 to the power of n plus 1 all over, and 6 in prime factors is just 3 times 2, and raise that to the power of 3n minus 2, switch to blue, okay, now from here, 3 to the power of 4n, I can see 3 times 3 is actually 3 squared, so I can say 3 squared times 2 to the power of n plus 1 all over 3 times 2 to the power of to the power of 3n minus 2. Now from here we should be able to look from here we should be able to look and realize that one of our index laws says that a times b in brackets to the power of n is equal to a to the n times b to the n. So that means that this raised to this times this raised to this power is the same as this raised to this power and this raised to this power. So we can rewrite as 3 to the power of 4n times 3 squared to the power of n plus 1 times 2 to the power of n plus 1. And we can do the same on the bottom here. This is the same as 3 to the power of 3n minus 2 times 2 to the power of 3n minus 2. Now, using another one of our index laws, we can say that 3 squared to the power of this is the same as 3 to the power of 2 times n plus 1. 2 to the power of n plus 1. All over 3 to the 3n minus 2 times 2 to the power of 3n minus 2. Okay, we're getting close here. We can say that's 3 to the power of 4n times 3 to the 2n plus 2 times 2 to the n plus 1. Nothing really special is happening down the bottom here at the moment. 3 to the 3n minus 2 times 2 to the 3n minus 2. Another index law, 3 to the power of 4n times 3 to the power of 2n plus 2. Same bases, we can add this to this. So we get 3 to the 4n plus 2n plus 2 times 2 to the n plus 1 all over. And again, nothing really special happening on the bottom at the moment. 3 to the 3n minus 2 times 2 to the 3n minus 2. Alright, I might just start up here. That's equal to 3 to the 4n plus 2n plus 2. That's 3 to the uh, 6n plus 2 times 2 to the n plus 1 all over 3 to the 3n minus 2 times 2 to the 3n minus 2. Finally, index law, it's this times this, this times this. We can divide using our second index law. That's 3 to the 6n plus 2 minus 3n minus 2 times 2 to the n plus 1 minus 3n minus 2. That's going to be 3, 6n minus 3n is 3n 
2 minus minus 2 is 4, multiplied by 2n minus 3n minus 2n, um, 1 minus 2, oh sorry, 1 minus minus 2 is positive 3. And there's our answer. So, uh, quite quite a long question, but you can see it follows all of our index laws. Uh, you just need to step through it one step at a time.